Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4, the new kingdom of God, playing as the Papal States. Vichy France in France proper has fallen. Now we gotta clean these guys up all over Africa and y'all know how much I love fighting wars in Africa. Oh man, it's so fun, it's so good. Um, good God. Uh, do we wanna go ahead and start working ahead of time on a few things? We could, uh, reduction in things like logistics companies, all of that would be very tempting. I'm gonna instead go for an upgrade to things like my artillery. We're trying to send some troops over to uh, Egypt and over all over Northern Africa since the British decided to pretty much split me off. And it's proving to be a little bit tr problematic. Yes, I've got enough supply over here that I can continue making this work, but it's looking a little dangerous. What am I not producing? Tactical bombers. And Hungary's not paying a license they owe me. Well, what do you know? Okay. The French are pulling back for some reason. Couldn't really tell you why they're doing that, but all right, that's fine. Um, got a bunch of artillery units on their way over here. We just need to hold. That's all we need to do is just hold our ground over here. I don't care if I hold this. This isn't important. We'll back this one up. There we go. Get your uh, organization back up here. Just hold this area. Don't lose the supply. How are we doing in the Suez? There's just enough troops over here that even with so many more numbers, we're going to take massive casualties if we try to take that on. So it's probably not really worth it to me. So we'll ignore some of that. Uh, with the extra factories, what do we want? We are running out of infantry equipment so stupidly fast, it's insane. Okay, hang on. Let's go to my occupations. Uh, we can go to colonial police on at least a few of these, and we absolutely should. Okay. In France... We're gonna swap over to the armored cars, so we can reduce how much damage we're taking. Actually, you guys need to be these guys, there we go. And I think I'm gonna go to my units here, and I'm just gonna get rid of this. This was a mistake. I need to save the armored cars for other things. It'll make it easier to train these up, and we'll have enough cars to go around and hopefully keep the French under control. Let's try spying in Moscow again, and let's try rooting out some resistance over here, because this is starting to look real bad. We just need to save some of our equipment and stop freaking dying so much. God, the garrisons are just so stinking painful. Anyway, get Anaba under the way, get over to Algiers. That'll deal with most of the reinforcements and supplies these guys are getting, and then we'll just finish them all off. We are kind of on the clock as far as dealing with the UK in Egypt in particular, because we are currently justifying against Turkey. I do need to declare on them. But then we need to end this war as quickly as possible, ideally before the U.S. joins. Because once the U.S. joins, I'm not going to be able to leave the Axis anytime soon. It's not like that's a massive deal. It's just that I know Germany isn't especially helpful against the U.S. Okay, Vichy France capitulated. Guess who's still here? Yeah, so that meant absolutely nothing, but thank you for that. Anyway, yeah, we want to get this over with as before the U.S. joins. If the U.S. joins... I don't know, I just sense that we're going to be in for a really rough time. So clean this up, send troops up here, and try desperately to land somewhere in the UK before anything else can happen. That's that's the strategy now. Um, We never upgraded our fighters, did we? Right. Let's go ahead and get some improved small airframes, shall we? Now, I think that without a better engine, we've only got, yeah, 24 thrust. So there's not an absolute ton we can do. We can get some cannons, but then we're gonna have to get like some heavy machine guns, I think. Then I want to get probably armor plates because we have already discovered that uh, defense is good. This isn't as good as going for just like raw cannons, but I don't have enough weight for that. We could go for maybe, maybe some drop tanks. I could really use some range. 900 kilometers, yeah, let's do that. Okay. This will have to be fine. Let's go for the Lightning Mark II. Save that one out. And then let's go for another improved airframe. And this one's going to be cast, but you can only do two bomb bays and you can't do a third. You have to go for bomb locks. And we want to get dive breaks, I think. Wait, hang on. That works for cast, right? Mm, yes. Okay. Boost up the air defense for relatively cheap. It's like a better version of um, the armor plates. Anyway, so we get some of that going and then... Honestly, we could just go for no armor and go for just raw engine. This will be the Thunder Mark II. What's wrong? Why can't I do this? What do you mean weight exceeds? It's exactly even, you liars! Fine. I have to make it a smidge more expensive, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and start replacing these with the better versions. 
I don't really even care that much if I finish off Vichy France. It's more important to me that I clear out what I can here, then just hold a line and get some troops up into Europe. Like, that's the thing. It's really tempting to say, oh, well, you know, we need to pull the stops and absolutely crush these guys. But you don't. You don't need to crush these guys. You just need to hold them back long enough to get the last major in the faction down, and then all of them collapse anyway for a fraction of the cost, and usually a lot faster. Unless you misjudge, and it turns out the guys sneak up behind you and stab you in the butt. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start pushing into Alexandria in the meantime. We got into Cairo, so that's good. If we can get some of you guys to surround these guys around Port Said, I feel like that would be probably pretty good. Let's go ahead and pin them down while we just go for an encirclement. If we can get Alexandria, that's gonna be pretty big. Let's see if we can just attack them from another angle. We have somebody going into Giza. That should be a small encirclement, and of course the spy gets detected in Moscow. God, it is so stupid! This didn't used to be that bad, I swear, but with the introduction of No Step Back, I'm pretty sure that the national focuses and stuff for um, the Soviets just gave them just generally more spy detection. It's just, it's ludicrous now. It's just ludicrous. Okay, we're gonna get Alexandria. That's gonna take care of this. All right, so the British are kicked out there. All right. Now, I don't know if the Germans are gonna push this line. What's the most defensible area here? So I'm gonna set up a fallback line. And then we're gonna set up this front line here because our justification is done. We're gonna send everybody except for like, let's say five of you, maybe six, right here. We're just going to hold this ground. An artillery upgrade is good. We can go for the anti-air. Can we toss anti-air on all of these guys? Um, yes, we could, actually. All right. We'll do that. Give these guys a slight edge if there is any sort of an air advantage going against us. I need one of you guys to try and punch through over here around Oran. If we can get this, some supply going over here, that would be pretty great. Or no, they're gonna just, you know, prevent me from going anywhere. Hang on. Punch, punch, punch. Go, go, go. Medium tank chassis. Yeah, that's not gonna do me a lot of good right now. Going ahead of time on the logistics company is very tempting. I guess we're just gonna go for the raw factory output. Yeah, we're running low on a lot of stuff all of a sudden. That infantry equipment is just burning up in Africa right now. It's burning, I tell you. Just need to get over here. Just need to get to Algiers. If we can get to Algiers, that's huge. You get the supply, wait, they have low organization, grab it, get it, get that supply point, and we're fine. Okay, that's all I care about. You guys sit tight, just go over here, surround the city. Okay, surround the port in Iran, so that they can't supply anything else down here, they have to go all the way from, where is this, Casablanca? Um, getting the airfield would be great, because then I can get my planes a lot closer to the action. There's Algiers, so we now have a lot more supply coming over this way. We just need to control the railroad now. That's the next goal. Control the railroad. Counterattack over here. They have low organization. This is the time to go for cleanup. Clean up. Everybody everywhere, everybody do your share. Don't attack into that. That's stupid. We have strengthened the northern industry, and we can go for the new industrialization program. Which apparently makes all armor cheaper and all infantry equipment cheaper. Well, that's coming at a good time. Let's do it. We do actually need that. Engines are done for the planes. Okay, I guess I could rework them and have more stuff on it. Um, construction tech? I would say normally yes. Wondering if there's anything that would be better. Go ahead of time on the infantry equipment, but no. Let's grab that construction tech. Get that out of the way. Come on, finish off these tanks and stuff. We have the airfield. Great. All of you, move here. Get in range. It's a bit too many, apparently. Nope, never mind. Our allies are leaving. Good. The extra casts should help. So our uh, claim against Turkey is going to end soon-ish. It's going to end in two days. It's a very good thing I checked when I did. We're probably going to have to push from this direction, but we're not going to do that yet. Let's first try to go for this little trick around Istanbul. Should work. Um, 
Don't need the fuel. I think I am gonna go ahead of time on the infantry equipment. I know it's crazy, but we're going to. Turkey joins the Allies, which now means that Germany is gonna get involved. They're gonna bunch out over here, and look at that, they're leaving the port. I'll be able to swoop in and just grab, boop, 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 and that's it, they're dead. Yep, all these troops over here are gonna die. Okay, and then we just pin you down so you can't go anywhere. It's not like it's an absolute ton of troops, but it's like six or seven. Counts for something, right? And then heck, if we can just go ahead and take Istanbul and grab the straight crossing before it's too late, even better. And now we just go ahead and clean these guys up like so. And it looks like we can just go over here. All right. Well, I could try to pull back and do this trick multiple times, but I'll tell you right now it's not going to work if the Germans are not going to let me, so forget that. The Americans are sending me stuff. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Alright, cancel that. Stop training up new troops. We can't afford it. <laughs> Oh my god, um... How, how, how are we losing equipment so freaking fast? Alright, whole new army. We need to find a way to navally invade into Britain. This is the new priority. Find a way to naval invade into Britain, and we're good. And the U.S. cancels the Lend-Lease immediately afterwards. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, we need to do suppression in France in particular. They are going absolutely nuts. <sighs> um, yeah, I, I don't know if I can get enough equipment together to deal with... I, I don't think I can get anything in, in Soviets, honestly. I don't think I can. I want to, I just don't think it's very likely. So instead, I'd rather just go ahead and suppress the French so that they don't get me killed. All right, so all of these guys now can be done with this garbage. At least until the next round of the British arrive. Let's go ahead and kill these guys off. And honestly, let's go ahead and send the army. We can't help it. It's just going to have to happen. Go, go, go. Everyone push. Everyone push. So I've got some troops on their way over here. The fleet is going to join up into one death ball to start. We'll just join everybody up into one big fleet here of 145 ships. It's not great, obviously, but I'll take what I can get. So some of them are repairing, but the new goal is basically just to hold the English Channel. How do we think we're going to do over here in Turkey? Honestly, I think I can just battle plan this to victory. I think we'll be fine. As far as my subjects, let's go ahead and change the autonomy for Yugoslavia. I could also change up my service by requirement. I hate to lose a bunch of factory output, though. How did I lose my... I don't know. I somehow lost my uh, chief of air force. Okay. Well, we'll go for an all-weather expert, I guess. Might as well make these guys a little bit more effective. Okay, so this is a pretty good spot to hold, I think. We just have to hold here and go. It's all that matters. What are we missing? Armored cars, and a lot of them. Frickin' French, dude. So the second you guys have an opportunity, you have to go. Where is my navy right now, by the way? There they are. Trying to repair, apparently. Okay, hang on. If I sign a bunch more dockyards here, this will help. Speed things up just a smidge. But to a degree, it doesn't really matter anymore. What matters is just getting in here. What kind of air force can I muster, do we think? First off, it would help if I had a bunch of fighters and stuff over here. So let's do that. You guys don't need to be here anymore. Let's send these guys up over to the English Channel. See if we can get the air superiority. That'll help. And then instead of close air supports, we do naval strike. And this might encourage the AI to say, hey, we don't actually want to keep our navy here. Sometimes that works. Not always, but sometimes. Repair priority is going to be low, and I want you guys to cancel your repair task. 
and get up over here, please. Get up over to the English Channel, get ready to escort some ships, uh, some ships. Well, convoy ships, you know what I mean. Get that all going. So let's see what ends up happening with my navy. Yeah, the naval supremacy is 0% here. Jumping up a little bit. Where are you? You have to go all the way around Africa, are you serious? You couldn't go through the Straits of Gibraltar? The British have that completely locked down? Is that what I'm hearing? Wow, okay. <laughs> Oh, you guys are an absolute delight, aren't you? God, the freaking armored cars, though. All right, let me just check. Armored cars, I can dilute this a little bit with some cavalry, and I'm going to, to just make this last a little bit better. That should reduce the sheer number of cars we have per garrison division, and as long as it makes them more effective, that's okay. Yeah, free France. We need... That's not as bad as I would have thought, to be honest. Why are we losing so many cars, then? Greece is causing some issues. I'm gonna send you guys back to a local police force. Lebanon, annoying but under control. Free France can't be local police force. It needs to be like secret police. Let's do that. And most of the rest of this is kind of okay. It doesn't seem all that bad. Seems like we're all right. Okay, let's let's leave that alone for a minute. Could get some extra um, doctrines. That usually helps. Interception detection. None of that's actually going to do me a lot of good, but all right, we'll pick some of that up. Land doctrine. I would love to get the supply consumption reduction. Land night attack. Now, that's the thing that's supposedly really good about the grand battle plan. Is you can stack up a lot of land night attack bonuses and overwhelm your opponent with that. Which I think is really weird and kind of hilarious, but okay. So how's that? Uh, how's that navy doing? Yep, there they go around Madagascar. Oh my god. Hey, Turkey's gone at least. Okay. So that's good. Um, I think the Germans are kind of doing their thing over there, but I'm not interested in helping them. I'm gonna grab at least a few more infantry and just send them down here to help. Let's just hold that ground. The rest of you, let's get up over here so I can just kind of take stock and see what's left. You shouldn't have anywhere else to go aside from finishing off some of these French units, which you are doing now, and that's that. Okay, so that frees up a lot more troops that we should send up over here to France to launch a reverse D-Day. It's all about getting enough naval superiority that we can actually launch this. That is the only thing that matters. Getting some planes and stuff will probably help. I'll send these guys to also do air superiority and ideally some port strike? Sure, port strike. Anything to encourage these guys to get the heck out of Dodge. Just leave me alone over here, all right? Let me bomb you. What do we got? Fighters, close air supports, tactical bombers. I'll take anything I can get. Let's, um, let's get those logistics companies going just to kind of boost that up a little bit. And we'll go for standardization so I can have cheaper planes. Just let me flood a lot more, all right? Naval Supremacy jumps up to 16%. They've got potentially 61 ships over here. The second my Navy arrives, we've got a chance at stopping this, but it's just going to take forever. The subs were able to sneak by. This fleet? Mm-mm. Gonna take way, 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 way too long. 1941. Pretty soon, the U.S. is gonna join in on this. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do it. If we don't, it's not a huge deal. It's just annoying. But we'll be okay. Um, let's go ahead and get the snorkel. Since we've lost so many subs, if we're gonna end up getting more subs, we should get some that are able to avoid detection. How many uh, troops we have out in the field for garrisons? 200,000. Yeah, that's a lot. Waiting for the glorious Italian Navy that went the very long, long way around. Uh, all right, here they come. Oh, that's it. That's all I needed. That is the naval superiority. Boom, boom, bada, bada, boom, boom, bomb. Okay, hold up. We are going to land some troops, and this is it. This is our moment to shine. Here goes freaking nothing. 
Get these guys cut off around Bl Bristol, Plymouth, wherever else. I think a lot of their troops are still in Africa, so they're not ready for me. This is good. Good. Can we get up to London and just take it straight up? Because if so, that would be great. Go, go, go. They were unprepared for this. You are not prepared! They were absolutely not prepared for this. Holy crap, London will be falling very, very soon. Here come the reinforcements over here. Holy crud! Okay, yes, yes, yes. So, um, like, all of you... And I mean, like, all of you are now going to be getting assigned up over here, and then we're gonna set you guys to an offensive line, and we're gonna set you guys to be aggressive. Go! Then I'm gonna take all of you, I'm gonna set you on a front line, I'm gonna tell you guys to also be aggressive. And then go. Get these reinforcements, flood the UK with Italian troops. Well, papal troops, you know what I mean. And we'll be fine. The fall of London, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. We'll get these guys around Truro. United Kingdom decrypted our ciphers, not gonna matter, but nice try. Can cancel these naval invasion orders, it's no longer relevant. These guys are going to be gone. Good. Seriously, if you guys are not actively moving towards something, I am going to shoot you myself. You think I'm kidding? I am not kidding. I will absolutely shoot you myself. That actually reminds me. So, I played uh, Airsoft a bit when I was in high school. You know, like a lot of other edgy uh, teenage boys and stuff. It was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was fun to do. Did some, like, actual CQB stuff with uh, some former Marines and so on. It was, it was pretty cool. Anyway, there was one particular game I remember where <laughs> I was playing with my friends and um, some, of the, some new kids I had never seen before. Oh, we need to move our Air Force as well, by the way. Holy crud. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go here, go here. Close air supports. None of this. And go, 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 go. Some of you guys do this. Okay, anyway, some kids I had never met before, and they were retreating. I was, I was I was trying to flank my other friends, and these guys were retreating. I saw them in the distance across a, a pond, running away because they were getting shot at. And I just started screaming at them, You get back there and hold that line, or I will turn around and shoot you myself! Credit where it's due, it worked. <laughs> they turned around, and uh, we ended up getting them. But yeah, it was like, when I tell you to hold, I freaking mean to hold. We, uh, we do not have the luxury of retreat here, guys. That is not, uh, that is not gonna be a thing. Anyway. Alright, getting Liverpool, come on. If we can get this before the US joins, it's very close. June of 1941. June of 1941. For God's sake, guys. Go, go, go! Holy crud, get to Cockermouth. I don't care. I don't care if it sounds silly and if you're sniggering. Just freaking go! Run over the British! Got him! Ah! Alright, allies are gone! Okay, there are things that I require in order to form the Roman Empire. Let's start with the obvious. By the way, I have the most war score. That is just hilarious. Vichy France, I need this. I actually don't remember for sure what I need to form the Roman Empire, and now I'm afraid that I'm not going to demand what I need, and the Germans are going to take it, and I am going to be in a lot of trouble. I will do a check in a minute before I submit any of this. For now, I can safely say that all of this is stuff I'm going to need. And it's probably gonna cost me like all of my points. I'm hoping that Germany's not gonna contest the stuff that I want. And if they do, it just means I'm delayed even further as I eventually have to just like go and, you know, kill them. But uh, we'll see. Is this all I need for the exact moment? Let me check. The answer is, I should only need Mare Nostrum, which is to say, yes, everything I've currently got should be enough, and then some. I'll get cores on a lot of the stuff, but I don't necessarily need it. So this is what I want to start with, for sure. That's 2,500 score. The UK, I would also kind of like to puppet. That was one of my war goals. So if I can puppet these guys around, let's say, London, that could be kind of fun. Grab a lot of this. Sure. Why not? I don't need France. I just get cores on a lot of France, but that's fine. 
Uh, oh, 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 but I do want Gibraltar, yes. Oh, and Malta, yes. Looking for tiny things I'm missing like that. That's the kind of stuff that screws me over. I don't want to do it. Let's start with all of this and just see what the Germans contest. Okay, so they are contesting Malta, Poitou, Loray, and Brittany. I don't need these. It's okay-ish if you have them. However, I am going to push on Malta because I need that one. That is not for you, absolutely no. So I'll push that one. The rest I could forfeit and let him have more of France and I'll just take Britain as a larger puppet instead. So I'll forfeit those three. Okay, close. Then let's continue with the British puppeting thing, which so far the UK has been kind enough to let me continue to do without much issue. All right, I want to submit all that. I could contest this again now, um, or we could say, screw it, let's just take a load of Africa. Yeah, we could try taking all of that. Oh, there's the British Raj. Hmm, I wonder what happens with the Papal Raj. Uh, let's consider that. You know what would actually be really good? Puppeting something like the Dutch East Indies. Yes, puppet this sucker, and I get to control a whole load of the rubber. That would be smart. Let's just start with this. Submit some more demands. Boom. All right. This time, the Germans are contesting uh, the rest of England. No, I don't think so, bud. I don't think so. I am going to be... I am going to select all and demand it anyway. Okay, so they may still be contesting me, but I'm not just giving that one up. I want it. It is for me and not for you. Thank you. It's going to be kind of expensive, but we'll try for it. Submit those demands. I'm, I'm not letting you have England. No, mine... Okay, we'll continue contesting all of that. Um, and yeah, try to feed off the rest of the Raj. Okay. Germany is trying to take over some territory in weird spots, but that's fine. Can we select all of Canada? Sure, let's submit all of that. And once again, I will demand no. Uh, Australia, I would like to take all of this, please. And then once again, no. Of course, they're getting at some point, like, a lot more score than I do. So they're going to start getting what they want eventually. But this is kind of all I want. You can keep demanding whatever else at this point. That's all I need. If I can take things like Australia, Indies, British Raj, all the territory I need, all I have to do now is annex Yugoslavia and Spain, and we can form the Roman Empire and we're done. Then we just go fight against the Soviets, who, by the way... I don't think Barbarossa has started yet. No, let's try again. Like, why is Germany so intent that this one province, for example, is needed? I mean, I've got everything around it, but this one? No. They've been contesting that for freaking ever. Like, what the heck, dude? Yeah, I don't think he's going to let me have Australia, to be honest. I might be able to get some parts of it, but I'm not going to be able to get most of it. So we'll go ahead and withdraw at least some of my claims. Although I think I am going to get a small puppet somehow. It's going to be a very, very ugly peace deal, isn't it? What else are you demanding that I'm contesting? This stuff right here? Like this? Like, why do you really want to split me off like this? Like, is this really so important to you? Really, though? It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. Fine. For God's sake, what is wrong with you and you won't even let me have Canada? It's just Canada! What do you care? All right, at this point, the Germans have just decided they're not going to let me have any more. <sighs> All right, fine. Confirm and exit. Still get what I wanted. I'm just more annoyed than anything else. Somehow, they got more states than me. I think they just took a lot of meaningless states, though. That's kind of the difference. So yeah, a lot of territory annex all of a sudden. Okay, um, the province of Canada 
which serves me, as opposed to Unitary Canada, which has cancerous tumors all over the place, because Germany is Germany. That's what we look like now. So guess what I probably want to do? Answer, leave the faction, get nationalist Spain and Portugal on my side, get ready to go fight against the Soviets, annex Yugoslavia, annex Spain, Roman Empire, baby. That's what we're going for. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.